guys, welcome back with training for JPDM Sports. Today with me is Nelly. Uh, I'm gonna introduce him to the basics of the boxing. Today we're gonna do the basics punches and also basic kick, front kick and the basic knee. I'm gonna introduce him to the punches today for the first time. He's gonna uh, learn them from starting from the bottom with the basic stance. From there on we go to punching and from the punching we go to the different punches like hooks, uppercuts, after that, the kick, so the deep front kick for the knee. Okay, you guys, here we go. <laughs> so, Nelly, we're gonna start uh, from the basics. We're gonna start straight up. Here on, you gotta put your right foot or left foot. I got it, okay. You gotta put your right foot, toes aside, and put your heels back to it. From here on, you're gonna slowly stand on your front of your foot, so a little bit on your toes. Bend your knees a little, bend your hips a little. From there on you put on your warm jacket. And here we're gonna start. First punch is a straight punch. If you're gonna make a straight punch, you wanna actually make it straight, but keep your shoulder up so you're still guarded here. Want to give it straight forward and pull it back as fast as possible. Plus, you don't want to stay open here. No, you want to be back in your guard. So I'm gonna introduce you with this basic punch first. What you will do from here on, you turn your whole body in. So even your feet are turning in when you give the punch. Yeah. So this is the basic movement that you're gonna start with. From here on out, you pull, uh, you put your uh, fist forward and pull them back backwards, and immediately come back and you stand. So you're jumping here, from here on out, two, forward and back. So what you do is, you put your hip forward, still bend a little, straighten out, shoulder up, these two knockers gonna hit him, and from there on, I come back. So here one, and back. Same as with the right. So you have the basic stance, from your leg, twitch in, from here on, straight forward with your punch come back with your hands to your face so one two that's what we're going to start with one two you try so put your face in stance here Jump a little because you want to be uh, agile and quickly on your feet. And then you go with one, two. Okay, there you go. Yes, try to keep them straight. One, two. Look where, you uh, where your punch. So look where your punches are going. There we go. Forward. One, two. Yes, and quickly back. One, two. Yes. Use your hip move more. Yes, there you go. Then you can make yourself long. Very good. Five more. Four. Okay, three more, two more, one more to go. Okay. So as you saw, what he did with his punches was quickly forward, quickly back. One, two. Because you want to be back in your defense. That's actually with every movement that you're going to make with your punches. Also, you're going to use your whole body with every punch you make. So now we're going to use a hook. If you want to make a hook, come back to your basic stance again. Stand here a little bit on your toes, bend a little to your, to your knees, to your hips, put on your jacket. What I will do, I will twitch my hip away, twist my hip away from where I will go. Because this one wants to go that way. So my left fist wants to go in an angle like this. So I twist around like a spring and then I'll eject it and my punch will follow. When I do this, so here I twist away and twist back and I punch. But the moment that I punch, I wait as long as possible to get my elbow up. So I twist away, twist back, and the moment that I will hit, my elbow will lift, and I will come back again. If I do this too quick, so if I will put my elbow here before I already, you know, start punching, the other one can hit my liver or uh, my side or wherever. My whole body will be open. So if I want to punch here, I have to be quick to close my body again. Same with the right. Twitch, boom, back. So 
twist, boom, use this twist, boom, and you can do after each other. One, two, twist, boom, boom. Okay, there you go, you try. So go back to the basic stance. You guard up, move a little, twist in, out, out, twist in, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Yes, and really lift elbows too. You really wanna put the elbows in there. Yes, there we go. Yes, that's the new part. important with the hook, it's the same as with straight punch, the shoulder. If I give a hook, I'll throw up my shoulder as well to protect my face again. Always keep the other hand near your face. Don't lower it near your face. This way it's protected and I can get my guard back. Same here, this way it's protected and I can get my guard back. Okay, as I said, we're also going to do the uppercuts. So we have straight punches, we have hooks, and now we go to the uppercut. With the uppercut, it's the same. That's with the hook. You're gonna twist your body, lower a little bit through your knees, because you actually wanna get the punch from your legs and your hip. You're even gonna stand on your toes a little. So you're here, twist in, and you actually gonna stand on your toes so you can make it farther away. So you twist in, come up, stand a little on your toes, and come back. So, twist in, up, that's the punch number one, that's the left side, and if you go with the right side, it's the same, twist in, and you come up, put your whole body in, just, just like with the hoop, but now you're coming from the from down side, so here. Back to your guard. Okay, so I'm starting with the basics again. In your stance, guard up, a little bit bent. And there we go. One, two. No, throw it there, but punch it there. So it's one, two. Yes, right in here. Yes. One, two. There you go. One, two. I'll keep this in. Mind. One, two, there we go, five more, four, three more to go, two more, one more, okay, and at least. So we had the basic punches, uh, as I said, with all the punches, was one thing is important, or well, actually two things are most important, you're going to use your whole body with every punch you make, straight, hook, doesn't matter if it's a low hook or a high hook, uppercut, you use your full body. The second part that is important when you punch, your defense is always up with your one hand near your face and the other one, your shoulder is up. Doesn't matter if it's a hook, punch or uppercut, my shoulder is up so I always have an extra defense here. If someone else tries to punch, I got this as an extra defense. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different punches, actually three different but with two hands so six different punches okay with the same stance as i said we also will do some exercise with the feet today and with the legs first one is a peep you really want to make space with that so if you give a kick you come in and you make space from there on out you can continue fighting someone is getting too close doesn't matter you come you come close boom, keep him away and i can continue again same basic principle we start with a good stance. So, 
goes out, you out, bend a little, put on your jacket, from here on out, again, you're gonna use your whole body. So if I'm gonna give, give a kick, a teep, or however you wanna call it, a front kick, teep, uh, from here on out, you're just putting your hip, and when you do that, you raise your leg forward. Aim for the belly, uh, in this case, uh, so you actually wanna put them away. You can use your front one, that's the fast one, mostly not that uh, impactful and not that powerful. You can also, if you stand close enough, use your back feet too, and use more power behind it. So you have one, phew, it's just a fast one, or you can actually use your power and front kick in it. But it all comes back from your hip. So you're here, and phew, kick out. Phew, kick out. With the toes, so the front of your feet, you can kick. So basic stance, put on the jacket, and kick, yes, and back to your stance, kick, yes, also use your right one, not only left, there we go, I'm going to train both sides, left, right, left, right, yes, try to really stand steady when you kick, because if you are too much still in, in bouncing and jumping around, you will slip away and you will fall. You don't want that? You want to stand steady, boom, and get the kick. There you go. Okay, five more. Four more. Okay, three more. Two more to go. Five. One more to go. It off and back to relaxation. Just relax a little. So, with kick, same uh, idea as the punches, your whole body's used. So, you really want to use your whole body with the kick. If you give the kick, use your whole body. But keep your guard up. If you kick, don't lower your guard because you never know if someone punch after it. You have to be ready. So, you kick, boom, and your guard is still up. Okay, the same principles with the knee. If I'm close by, it's harder to kick, but my knee is really close, so I can actually use it. I will use my knee, this time in his belly, but now we'll aim for his hands with the same way as I would do with the front kick. I'll use my hips, put it in. So I'll use my hips and put it in. So it's not just here, putting my knee up, no. You're moving and boom, put your whole body in. Keep your guard up, boom, put your whole body in. Guard up, boom, whole body in. Doesn't matter if it's left, all right, whole body is in. So you use your whole body in the knee, and you come back. So without a partner, it's like this. Left first, in there, and then right, and back to your stance. Okay. Now your turn. Knee, basic stance first. Guard up. There we go. So knee in. Yes, and back. Knee in and back. Knee in and back. Knee in and back. Okay, five more. One. Very good. Two. Yes. Three. Four, five. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very nice. So today we, you know, talked about the basics of punches, basic of kicks, front kicks, and knees. So you have the straight punches, you have the hooks, you have the uppercuts, you have the front kicks with both legs, you have the knees, left and right. And nearby you have the basics of the kickboxing. Okay. See you next time.